For infectious diseases, uh, the CDC is great at, but I think they kind of dropped the ball on, on this one. It was complete conflation of vaping these adulterated THC products with, you know, vaping nicotine. And, and you know, just look up the word conflation in the, in the dictionary. It basically means that these two things became indistinguishable. And that's what happened. And that became the narrative. And that drove everything. But they didn't let up on that story uh, up until, again, I think last week. On the face of it, you know, they were taking it seriously, which they should. Um, but th then you have to ask, well, why didn't they get to the, you know, what appears to be the correct conclusion any sooner than they did? So all these indicators are telling you that it's got to be something that's very, very specific, that's that's temporally bound with, with respect to, um, you know, the exposures. Why isn't it happening in other parts of the world? There's a single question in the NYTS about um, whether kids endorse whether they they use vaping products for uh, to ingest you know cannabis THC over half of the kids who said that they vaped meaning vaped anything including nicotine half of them also said that they had used you know a vaping device to vape THC it gives us context it, you know these kids are just not just using you know, nicotine products, they're, they're, you know, they're vaping THC. Well, there's going to be naturally a, you know, a thriving black market, um, you know, depending on, on how draconian the regulations become. This is the worst thing I, I hear, which is you have people, you know, smokers who switch to, to vaping, who now out of fear are, are going back to smoking cigarettes. And it's like, that's, that's going backwards.